My name's Pete, or Peter. Uh, I'm a twin brother. I was born 1984, along with my twin brother. Uh, we have an older sister and a younger sister. Uh, grew up in Canberra. Parents still together. Been happily married the whole way through. I uh, went to St John the Apostle Primary School in Glory and St Francis Xavier High School and College. I like playing and walking with my dogs. Mainly sport. Love playing oh, soccer. Sarah, I'm taking it off but I was it's talking annoying about, me. I was talking about soccer. Yeah, that so doesn't matter. Another ball back. No, really, you Sammy, can't. Sammy, Sammy, no, 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 he'll fiddle with it the whole time. He's like a child. It's part of, part of the treatment. <laughs> yeah, we need the ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How did I find out I had epilepsy? Well, it was actually uh, year 11, 2001. I was in an exam, whole grade was there. And, uh, you know, I just, I think I started to feel a bit funny, but I don't remember, and then just had a seizure. So the exam hadn't actually started yet. And then I just remembered hearing this really weird noise from, well, I thought it was from right up the back. And I was just thinking to myself, there was a guy in our class called Yobbo. I was thinking, shut up, Yobbo, come on, kind of thing. And then, uh, yeah, it didn't stop. <laughs> so in the end, I turned around and, yeah, Pete was having a seizure. So it was a bit of a surprise, I suppose. Woke up, uh, paramedics were there. I didn't really know what was going on. Apparently, I had a couple of swings at the paramedic. It was very distressing. No clue what's happened. Uh, I went to hospital. It's all a bit hazy after that, but that's how I found out I had it. After I had the, the first seizure, the process was basically they ruled out the, the nasty things first. So they had the MRI for the, for the brain tumour. And, and then they make you hyperventilate and shut your eyes and then you open and there's a strobe there. It's not a fun thing. But that just takes readings of your brain. And I don't know exactly how it works. But from trying that, trying to see how you respond to different things. Yeah. So they'll be showing you strobe lights, trying to see, see what would cause seizure activity. I haven't, I haven't been around him when he had a seizure. He's only had one since we've been together. And I was actually, I was at my parents' house and I was about to leave to drive home and he had the seizure while I was on the phone to him, which was a bit scary. I rang Pete to let him know that I was going to be leaving soon. I was just about to get in the car. And he said it was good that I was coming home soon because he felt funny and he was just talking in a really strange way. And so I, I said, are you okay? And he said he felt funny. And now when Pete's about to have a seizure, or every time he's, he felt like he's going to have a seizure, he says he feels funny. So I've told him he's not allowed to use that word for anything else other than that particular feeling. He went quiet. And then he just kind of made this like yelping noise. And then I could hear what sounded like his head banging on the floor and and some other noises after that. So I'd, I hung up the phone pretty quickly and I, I called an ambulance because I, kn I knew that he hadn't had a seizure in a while and the, the bigger the gap, usually when they do have one again, it can be much worse. Fits were at their worst. Uh, probably while I was at TAFE doing my chef's apprenticeship. Uh, sort of every two weeks, I guess. But it didn't help that I was drinking quite a lot. Uh, Show up to work hungover quite a lot and hangovers are usually when I'd have fits, so not much you can do about it. You could stop drinking. Not much you can do about it. <laughs> yeah, it ruined everything, man. Because I wanted to be like in the army or a policeman or in the firefighting industry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So oh, straight away, I can't do any of that stuff. Or a paramedic, I couldn't do that either. Like the army won't take you to do anything, for example. Can't even cook for the army. Or play in the band. <laughs> or pick their nose. He, can't, know, can't he knows it. that because he asked. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty annoyed with the guy, so, so I just kept asking him. But, so then, you know, I had to kind of just reassess everything. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after that. I, I knew I liked sport, and I just... A lot of my mates were going to uni. My brother was going to uni. For some reason, I felt like I should go to uni. So I did sports science. It was fun. But I kind of realised halfway through that I probably wasn't going to get a job out of it. And I wanted a job out of my degree. I didn't really want to do three years for, for nothing, even though it was kind of enjoyable. It was pretty expensive. So 
I gave that away and then I ended up doing very briefly a job at Parliament House as a dishy. And I was just watching the chefs and I was I just thought to myself, hey, this looks like it could be all right fun. I just liked the team environment they had and it was fast paced, so I thought I'd give it a shot and that's how I ended up uh chefing. I did that for three and a half, four years maybe. I did most of TAFE but didn't quite finish TAFE. I just stopped doing that because I realised I didn't want to do it forever. So then I was back to square one. <laughs> I decided to do nursing in... It would have been 2008. 2008. I was the same again, I was a bit... not really sure what I wanted to do. I guess I just thought when I'd been into ED with the seizures and stuff, I thought just watching the nurses their job looked pretty cool. It looked like something I could do and I'd be interested in. I've always been slightly interested in the human body. I work in the adult mental health unit at uh, the Canberra Hospital in Woden. Uh, it's acute mental health, the most acute mental health ward in Canberra. It's a locked facility. A lot of crazy people in there. I haven't had a seizure for about uh, three or four years. I've stopped really paying attention, keeping track of it. I haven't had a seizure for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I start really keeping track of how long it's been because it's been a lot longer than it's been. They say that the longer you go without one, the less likely you are to have another one. So it's going pretty well. 